This example shows how to use visual slope to perform a slope stability analysis under seepage pressure. If water table covers the entire slope, the regular slope stability analysis will automatically consider the seepage pressure. If a partial of water table is unknown, this procedure is needed. If a partial of water table is unknown and a regular slope stability is used, the calculated factor of safety will be too large. We should perform a slope stability analysis under seepage pressure. Now the calculated factor of safety is more reasonable. This concludes this presentation. Thanks for watching.